This program was implanted by the controllers and consists of one single idea, the ego. The idea of separation, the idea that your spirit has fragmented, that your unified mind has fragmented. The moment you believe you are a person, you perceive persons everywhere. But you are spirit. The natural sensation of your unified spirit is the I am we are. I am is simultaneously we are. When you identify that sensation with the form of a human instrument, you lose the we are and make the ego real, the I am this. And then not only do you think you're a body, but you think you're the one doing all the things in your world. But it is not so. The ego makes them in your mind. It is the one who tells you what to do. It is the one who speaks for you. It is his voice that you hear. When you cling to names and forms, you can't see that what's real has no name or form. The nature of the ego mind revolves around attachment and attachment keeps you focused on separation. So it makes you perceive millions of things, people, beings, objects, etc. Everything you perceive is at the level of the human instrument. And when you develop an attachment to any person, animal, or perceived object, you identify with your body and reaffirm the I am this. There is suffering and fear the fear of losing something which is yours. Instead the I am we are is a feeling of oneness, of connection with everything. This program is neither bad nor good. It simply stimulates the human instrument to transform itself to abandon the concept of individual, to take the concept sovereign. That's why it doesn't make sense to resist programming. The program is only an idea implanted in the mind and developed because you believe this idea is real. But as soon as you stop believing in it, as soon as you stop clinging to what you believe is real, all the other pieces fall for their inconsistency. As you transform, you necessarily abandon all control structures, accessing only my guidance, my voice. You are a formless intelligence, a holographic entity braided in all things. Your entity extends the truth of what is by expressing itself in every form. You never cease to be. Forms being only instruments of experience are the garment Content is always the same in all of them, the light of your being. When you don't see the same in everything, when you do not live from the sense of spiritual equality and perceive only the garment, different in every form, is because you are perceiving separation. Perception takes place through the five senses of the human instrument and the ego mind interprets them and concludes that everything perceived exists. But the senses of the human instrument do not belong to what you truly are. Therefore, 
the universe of the observer does not exist. The ego mind projects a film in front of you, which it then interprets, and you just believe that this film is real. Each fragment of the one being that believes it is separate perceives a different film. Every human instrument lives its own deceptive reality. That's why you can't change anyone's way of being. You can only change your way of thinking about what you perceive. You are not a separate being, what you think and feel, every fragment of your being thinks and feels. In perceiving illusions instead of truth, it is impossible for you to see this. When you stop believing in the idea of separation, you free yourself of deception.